On this installment of Higher Learning, we're going inside the lab to learn about the world of pharmaceutical manufacturing. All right, Phil, let's get into it. What are we going to do right here? What is this crazy machine? This machine is, uh, is what we call SDS page. It's used to analyze protein profile. It has a sample in it. We took yes. this. Yes. Okay. There's a sample, and you want to hold it such a way that your, your finger rests right at okay. the, so, the grip. Like this. That's right. Okay. Now press the plunger. There you go. And then lift it out. And you've just loaded your first sample. And once we have loaded the sample, then we would apply an electrical charge to it. In the industry, what we need to do is we need to find out exactly what is in the product that we're making. So it takes a little bit of time. It does. And then you end up with this. What you're seeing is that you're seeing separation of a protein, uh, proteins actually in the sample. Uh, for example, this particular lane here represents a fish sample. This program teaches students uh, right out of high school uh, how to make pharmaceuticals. This program started about 10 years ago. We started with three people, three students. And now we have an upward of uh, 20, 25 students per year. In this lab, we deal with mostly bacteria because we are using bacteria to make a pharmaceutical for us. Most people think bacteria are bad. These bacteria that we're using are good. We're exploiting them instead of them exploiting us. See, I don't like lighters because I always feel like I burn my finger. Look at that, I'm gonna melt my glove. That's okay. Right here. Okay, that lit, lit very quickly. It's like I'm roasting a tiny marshmallow. And I'll get you to put that into the tube to pick up your culture. It sizzles. Okay. And now we can take this plate and incubate it for uh, 24 hours at 30, 37 degrees. 37 degrees. It says, guess how many pills? My guess, seven. I don't think so. We need 60 cc's of inoculum, stat. That's okay, Phil, you don't have to laugh. I appreciate it. All right, now we've moved on to the next step of pharmaceutical manufacturing. Saeed, what are we going to do? What happens here? So once you have your drug and other raw material, the first step in making tablets or capsules, which we refer to as a solid dosage form, and that step is called uh, dispensing. The pharmaceutical industry in Manitoba is a budding but uh, vibrant industry. In fact, if you uh, purchase uh, uh, common tablets like Tylenol and aspirin and uh, a number of your vitamins in a variety of stores like Walmart and Superstore, if you look at the label, uh, it says manufactured in Manitoba. Once we have measured all the ingredients and we have weighed the accurate amounts, we transfer them into this machine. Nice and then we mix them with high power so that the powder becomes uniform. It's a super duper mixer. Exactly, right? that's a super duper mixer. <laughs> this particular machine is called a tablet press. What are you looking at is uh, now a tablet coating system and we are in the process of coating the tablets. So that's a glimpse at some of the steps it takes to manufacture pharmaceuticals. But this process, we went from powder to tablets. To tablets. And that's just a glimpse at pharmaceutical manufacturing.